I assume that you and Philip have found a place? No, not yet. Well, that could be tricky. The real estate agent I spoke to had almost nothing suitable. Oh, well, you must have spoken to the wrong agent. The one that Philip called found a half dozen or so that are perfect for us. Really? Yeah, it's just a matter of picking one out. Ah, how fortunate for you. Maybe you should call our agent. But then again, you do have different needs than we do, Beth. Different, yes. Yeah. Yes. Fair. I mean, we really just need a small house, quiet, for the two of us, away from a house full of people. You know, I, I think that I will call your realtor. I'll do that. Please. Philip has the number. You can relax, Harlan. I'm no threat to you. I guess the better woman won. Beth, I never meant to hurt you. No, no, I'm sure that you didn't. It's the truth. I believe you. Because I know what it's like. And what do you know, Harley? I know what it's like to lose your husband to another woman. Have your heart broken. Oh, that. I walked in on them. Mallet and his partner. I walked in on them. They were supposed to be in a stakeout. I lost my husband to another woman, too, and I survived. I moved on with my life. Well, you don't have to worry about me, Harley. I, I'm not worried about me. I'll be fine. In fact, I already am. Good. No, see, my concern is my daughter's happiness. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what they say. Kids are usually happy if their parents are happy. Right? Hi, sweetie. Hey. Uh, slight change in plans. Um, somebody wants her daddy to stay with her until she falls asleep. So why don't you go to the diner and I'll meet you there in just a little bit. Okay? Well, I really don't mind hanging out. Well... No, I know. I know. You want to spend some time alone with her, and yeah. I understand that. Okay. It won't be long. That's fine. Yeah, okay. it's fine. Okay. Mm. I'll see you later. Okay. Okay. Dinner is served. Uh, Nettie, Miss Cooper and I are eating out. I thought you were staying here. Nettie, um, uh, not tonight, no. I'll see ya. Okay. Bye, Beth. Harley? I'll be up with Lizzie. You need it. Enjoy it, Harley, because it won't last. Hello? Beth? Yes. Mallon? Look, I've been thinking about what you asked me to do. And I'm just not sure I should come to Springfield right now. Listen to me. Listen to me, Mallet. You have to come now. Harley's gotten on with her life. After everything I've put her through, it's best I leave well enough alone and not interfere. Mallet, you are not listening to me. This is important. You need to come to Springfield ASAP. Both our futures depend on it. You can't back out on me now. Reservations were all set, Mallet. I thought we were in agreement that you were going to come to Springfield. Yeah, but I'm just not sure I can do that right Look, now, Beth. I told you, Philip and Harley are moving in together. Yeah, I know. It is a terrible situation for everyone concerned, and you can do something about it, Mallet. Come on. Look, I'm not sure what to think. Well, what is that supposed to mean? Well, maybe Harley and Philip are right for each other, huh? Maybe all this is for the best. Look, Beth, I'll call you in a couple of days. And we'll talk then, all right? No, that is not all right, Mallet. Mallet! Oh. Hi, Philip. I think it's time we have a talk. Okay. Um, well, I'll get some wine and we can... No, sit actually, by... you know... Having a glass of wine with you right now is probably the last thing that I would like to do. 